Hey everybody, real quick update on some updates in Food Fantasy here. So first thing, some people wanted to make sure that, you know, the, uh, the rate up for Bamboo and uh, Tosa were actually working. The Mercy mechanic is in place for Bamboo. Nothing is unusual about the Bamboo one. I'm not pulling on it myself, I'm waiting for Toso. But, if you were waiting for the Bamboo Rice one, it is functional. Um, I would say wait on the Toso one. Wait, um, we had confirmation within an hour of the, um, of the update, of the uh, reset, to know that there was something screwy with the double scoop, so... Wait a little bit, I'll have a video on whether it works or not, and if it works, um, I'll probably do a quick little stream, I'll do some Toso pulls, maybe I'll fight the Jester and see what kind of damage I can get. Um, uh, really hoping for two-star Toso if I can. Um, something I learned, if you pull an ultra-rare dupe, you get 25 shards instead of 15. So two duplicates of an ultra-rare is enough to two-star. Beyond that, it's basically infeasible, especially for free-to-play and stuff. But, that's enough about the event. Beggar Chicken was added, and that also means that the Food Soul Collection menu was added. If you you probably never use this, a lot of people don't. There's some fun information here in the guide section. It's not just like, you know, newbie tutorial. There's like lore for the Food Souls and for the areas, for the Fallen Angels. You know, you can review the story and, you know, see a bunch of stuff. But the Food Soul Collection is a more functional thing. So with the Food Soul Collection, you can get items for your uh, restaurant, and you can get Beggar Chicken or Beggar Chicken Shards. So, most important thing to note, you do not summon Beggar Chicken from shards. Uh, if you get, if you somehow get enough Beggar Chicken shards to summon him, do not fuse him. Because, the way you get Beggar Chicken is a direct summon from the Light Kingdom rewards. To get Beggar Chicken, you need 55 stars on the um, Food Souls in this list, and 66 fondness total. Which is pretty hard, because it's mostly... Um, our rank food souls. It's mostly not particularly notable food souls in here. As you can see, Tang Yan, Goiza, Mooncake are in here. They're pretty good. Um, Bamboo Rice is in here. He's great. Sweet Tofu's in there. Um, but for the most part, the rest is stuff like, you know, red wine, sake, palm juice. Um, not a lot of these that you're gonna have pre-high fondness for. There's also some totally whale-only rewards, um, avatars and stuff. To, the reason I say whale-only is because all the ones that give you avatars and stuff, they include an ultra-rare that's basically impossible to, uh, to five-star, even. Even if you're only, like, a moderate whale, say you only spent $500 in this game, only, uh, you're still not gonna have five-star bamboo, uh, you're still not gonna have five-star cloud tea. You're still not gonna have... Uh, you might have 5 star, 5 star duck and crab lung bao. Assuming you pull them naturally, uh, you, you can get a reasonable amount of shards. It's still gonna take a dang long time. Uh, but for the most part, getting the final rewards are not currently very feasible. To get the final rewards in each set, you need 5 stars on all of the food souls, and you need fondness 6, which I believe is not currently possible. Um, they, they cap out at 5, so you can't currently get the final rewards, which also means... You can't currently get pretty much any of the the, uh, the uh, beggar chicken shards. The only one you can get is from this Satan's Coffee House one, which is the hardest one to do. Um, it has a bunch of food souls that are pretty common. Um, chocolate and pastel del nada less so. Uh, you have to get all the way up here to 42 fondness, which is quite a lot. And 35 stars, which is possible. I mean, I'm getting up there. Uh, this is, by the way, a good reason to um, just ascend your dang R rank food souls. Some people just fuse all the shards away. I've always just gone straight to five star. I would say, especially with beggar chicken being a thing, that's a very good thing to do. But let's explore why beggar chicken is currently impossible to like use in any meaningful context. Um, the Gloryville chest uh, doesn't have a, it; just has a chandelier for your, you know, restaurant. Um, but to get any of the shards, you need. Five stars and six fondness for every row, every character in here. For a lot of these, this is basically impossible due to ascending. Getting five star yogurt, um, good luck. Good luck. I'm actually farther behind on yogurt than I am on cloud tea. So that should be an indication here. Um, for this one, you need five stars and two M souls, which is possible. Five star on toast, who is not currently in the game. Uh, five star on toast is going to take you an insanely long time, just like Strawberry Daifuku. He costs extra, and he's being introduced later. 
Um, I am at four star for several of my M food souls, well, like three, but uh, five star for the regular M food souls is possible. Um, you're still gonna have to get them to fun to six as well, which is currently not a thing. So again, still impossible. So you can't get his shards. You do get a good amount of shards each one. If you get just two of these, which is not currently possible, you could have him at two star. But Beggar Chicken, um, he links with Bamboo Rice. You might think he's good. Uh, no one at zero star, at least at my level, I'm level 73. Nobody at zero star is good. To, to prove my point in the in the in this event here, um, you know the the boosted food souls like Bamboo Rice is double boosted. Do you think he raises my damage when I include him in my lineup? No, I lose like a hundred points. That's how bad a zero star food soul is, unfortunately, when you're over level 60. Uh, especially like 10 plus levels. At, at level 60 exactly, it's no difference. At level like, well, I mean, it's still the star difference, but zero stars get outpaced really fast. So a zero star beggar chicken is gonna be, you know, he's a collection food soul. Uh, don't worry too much about not getting his shards for the moment, but you can get some nice, you know, decorations. So, I mean, it's still a good reason to ascend your food souls, I guess. Um, to work on your fondness, kind of. Just feed people like, their exquisite dishes. Uh, I have a link in my guide. In my guide, there's a big old table that you can just search salad, and it'll tell you what salad's favorite food is. If you have too much, like, crab curry, you can search crab curry and find whose favorite dish that is. That's a bad example, because I don't think crab curry is anyone's favorite, but, you know, just as an example. So, those are the updates. Expect to stream, I guess, when the Toso poll thing is on. And uh, I'll check things out. I think they unrigged the, um, by the way, the, the, I forget if I mentioned it in the, the double scoop thing, but the, the clown thing was rigged, so it wasn't truly random chance. You were almost certain to get the clown at the very last one. There was a small chance that you would find him earlier, but um, I, at least for a couple days, that seemed to be fixed. But I've had bad luck the last couple days, but I actually want to fight staff to just raise my rank anyway So it's not too bad for me, but yeah, just <laughs> The game really likes to cheat a lot and I I'm not very cool with that. But anyway, that's about all there is to talk about. Thanks for watching